Welcome to the Rice County Historical Society. One of the many treasures that we have is this small but incredible sand art bottle. The bottle was made by Andrew Clemens out of Dubuque, Iowa for Faribault's Lime and Tuttle of Tuttle Meat Market. Andrew was born in 1857 in Dubuque, Iowa. He had encephalitis when he was very young and became deaf and, and was trained at the deaf school in Iowa. One of the things that he did there was he learned how to make these intricate sand art bottles. Um, they were To make them, he inserted pre-sorted grains of sand into small glass drug bottles using homemade tools. He used hickory sticks and florist wire and all these kinds of things. And so this literally is made one grain of sand at a time. And he did this as advertising pieces all around. He sold many of them, but in our case, it was actually a gift that he made for Mr. Tuttle. In one of uh, Andrew's visits to Faribault, he visited Mr. Tuttle, um, also, of course, the deaf school, and Mr. Tuttle was kind to him. A little bit of uh, Lyman Tuttle's history, he was born in 1836 in Connecticut, and at the age of 17, he began working in a mercantile house, and then uh, learned how to butcher meat. In 1856, he came to Faribault and began working first at the Accelsory Meat Market, and in 1864 began his own business as the Lyman Tuttle Meat Market. You can see in he in these pictures here that Lyman is actually uh, in both cases he's pictured on the left. He w remained in that business here in Faribault until 1894, and he died in 1906. So it's kind of neat to see a small piece of history and uh, we're happy to share it with you.